So I'm going to show you how to install uh, a program called Make MKV onto your Mac. This program allows you to convert your DVD movie, so the movies that you have on DVD, onto into an MKV file, which you can then open up on your computer. You can use it with Plex, with VLC. You can open up with a number of different programs, uh, so that you can have a backup of your uh, of the movies that you own already on DVD. So to do that, we'll open up your browser, whatever browser you may use. I'll use Safari, M make MKV. So there are a few other programs out there, for example, Handbrake, which lets you convert it to other formats. MKV is really nice because you're not gonna lose any of the quality of your DVD. So it's gonna make an exact copy of your DVD in full quality. So if you click on this, you can also use um, Make MKV for your Blu-ray movies. So if your Mac has a Blu-ray uh, player, you can also convert your Blu-ray movies into MKV files to open up with your video program on your computer. All right, so that website's open. Let's go to download. And you can also download it for Windows or for Mac. Let's go for Mac for this exercise. All right, so that's just gonna download it onto my desktop. It may download it into your downloads folder if you have it set up that way. But for my exercise, we're just gonna go into the desktop. So this program is extremely easy to use, which we'll see in a short second. It's downloading it very slowly as you can see. You can also look through this website, I've got some online help about how to use the program, you know, but I'll, I'll go through all of that on the tutorial anyway. An FAQ, if you have any questions, etc. So the best way to run the MKV files would be to download a program called VLC, uh, which can open up most video formats. How's that download going? All right, so it's nearly done. Okay. So here the file is, agree, just going to verify the DMG file, make sure that it's not corrupted, and here's the file. Okay, so you can copy this into your applications folder, which we'll do just for now. Okay, and then that way it's there for you to use later. I'm just going to open it up. Now this program is completely free, which is fantastic. It can be used as many times as you want uh, with no, no limit. Okay, so we want to open it. Okay, so make sure that you've got a DVD in your drive. In my case, I already do. So it's automatically done a quick scan to find that I've got the matrix in there shows me a bunch of information, how much uh, data is on there, 7.7 .7 gigabytes, that it's a DVD, etc. So then you've got to click on this big button right at the front here. And what that's going to do is it's going to do a scan of the DVD drive itself. Okay, so it's going to scan the DVD, open it up, essentially because most DVDs will be locked by default. This is going to open it up so that we can rip the contents of it. Okay, so that has finished scanning. You'll see that it's detected a number of files within that DVD. So these will be things from the, the main movie, obviously, uh, as well as a number of the special features, behind the scenes, uh, other, other clips that there may be on that DVD as well. It's up to you if you would like to rip those as well. You don't need to rip them, so you don't need to have them all selected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to untick all of them 
and select just the movie. Now the way you can tell which one the movie is, is generally the biggest one. Okay, so this is five gig. You'll see that there is a few others. This has got to do with different versions of the same film, so different uh, languages, for example. So we're going to ignore that. You only need the first one. You'll see that they're all the same length. They're all two hours and ten minutes. Okay, so let's select the first one if you want just the movie. If you do want other features, select those as well and you can save them. The output folder. You can put in here where you want the extracted file to go. So you click on this here and then you can actually select where you want the saved file to go. So I'm going to put it into my into my movies folder. So I'm going to create a folder called the matrix. Okay. And then I select make MKV. It's going to say that the, the, the file does not exist. The folder does not exist. Do you want to create it? Yes. And then that's now going to start to scan and output that file into this particular path. Okay. So you see, it's going to be, it's going to put it into movies, the matrix, and then the actual MKV file is going to be called title 00.mkv. So this process may take some time. Once it's finished, all we have to do is go into here and rename this title 00 to the matrix. Okay. So we'll leave that for now and finished. The ripping is now complete and it's copied the movie into the folder here. Go into volumes, my three terabyte media, movies, the matrix, and here's the finder and here's the folder. So if I open up that, you'll see that it's just created a title 00.mkv. So what I want to do is I just want to rename this to the matrix. And that's it. So now I should be able to use VLC to open it. Or if you have like a media studio such as Plex or XBMC, uh, you can add them into there. Uh, and that is it.